viewers, I'm Dennis and you're highly welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Big Time Africa. Please, if this is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification so that anytime I post any video, you'll be the first person to get the notification. And also forget to share the videos. God bless you. Yeah, today I'm going to be discussing one of the tour centers I visited at Ileife, Moremi Adasoro. Actually, I didn't go inside this tour center because the gatekeeper was not around, so nobody to open the gate for me. But the people that gave me the information said I can stay outside and take some videos. Even one of them assisted me, um, collected my phone and did some video, which I'll be, you know, when I'm narrating the story of Moremi, the video is going to be surfacing on the screen. So you guys should just sit back and listen to this wonderful story about this courageous woman. At a time in ancient Yoruba land, the people of Ileife people were enslaved by a neighboring tribe called the Forest People. These Forest People were considered to be as powerful as them in gods because they conducted regular raids on the people of Ife. This made the people of Ife seek out help and offer sacrifices to their gods in order to prevail, but all was unsuccessfully. Queen Moremi Ajasoro was the wife of Oramio, the heir to the king of Ife and founding father of the Yoruba tribe Odudua. Upon devising a strategy, Moremi visited the spirit of the river Isimiri and vowed to make the greatest sacrifice possible if she could discover the strength of the forest people and save her king's men. She went to a place that was raided frequently and allowed herself to be captured. Eventually, her beauty attracted the forest people ruler who made her his anointed queen. She was also very confident and skillful. So it was not long before she won the trust and affection of the king and people in the forest land. This gave her the access she needed to familiarize herself with the secrets of their army. In preparation for battle, the forest people would cover themselves from head to toe with acre grass and bamboo fibers. If someone were to pass among the forest people's warriors with a torch, they will be defeated. After she discovered their secret, she escaped to Ilefe to reveal them to the Yoruba army. The Yoruba people used Moremi privilege information to finally defeat the forest people in battle. Queen Moremi is recognized by the Yoruba people because of this bravery and celebrated her selflessness with the Idi festival because she gave up her son Olurobo to the Isimiri deity in order to fulfill end of the bargain. To this day, the Yoruba people mourn with her and hold her in the highest esteem of any woman in the kingdom. Queen Moremi has been immortalized in several ways with books about her, public places named after her, and a statue of her erected in 2016 by Oba Ogowosi in the Ife Palace. Guess what? The statue is 42 feet and is also known as Queen Moremi of Liberty. The amazing part of it is the statue is the tallest statue in Nigeria and the fourth tallest statue in Africa. So ladies and gentlemen, you see the reason why history is good. Keep on watching Big Time Africa TV. We bring history, we bring promote tourism or tour centers, tour destination to your doorstep. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on my next episode. God bless you.